Hi, my name is Felix Cavier and you're watching the Shiva Minute. Now after you've applied the ocean to the scene, you probably want to start working on the materials for the terrain. This is done the materials tab of the terrain editor. Click on add a new material, give it a name. There's nothing on it, so we can just leave the operator to replace. A beta map is the standard diffuse map. Let's take this ST Rocky Canyon texture from the library. Give it a normal map. Use the terrain UV space. And we want to texture the whole island, so we will just leave the mean height, max height and slope values as they were. Click OK. Then we will have to generate the texture for the island either in preview mode or in production. So I just hit preview and see how it looks. Now this may really take a while so I just cut here. I've just finished the calculation for the rocky base map as you can see the tiles are loaded dynamically and it looks pretty stretched in places and the tiles are popping up, that's because there are no map maps generated, no any LOD maps, so this is all you get in the preview. If you want to refine the texture, you can use the scale parameters to give it a final look. Let's see how that works out for this area. Now the ground itself has a much higher resolution and looks much better if you standing close to it but the stretching never really goes away so you have to be aware of that if you're using terrains do not use slopes that are too strong anyway one texture really only looks bland so we're adding some nice shore sand by adding a new layer choose a new beta map and as I have no sand, I will just use the plastic map here. I only want the sand image to appear on flat surfaces, so I will limit the slope values. I will also limit the height. And then hit generate. The generation has finished. Now you can see the sand covers only the flat surfaces you can also see it's limited by the height, although this area here in the middle is flat as well, you cannot see the texture on it. Now this looks pretty bad because the edges are not feathered, so we will fix that by altering the slope soft values, not the soft borders values. Soft borders regulate the softness between individual chunks, since we do not want to see any seams between the chunks we will leave this to 0.5. The generation has finished and it looks fairly well in certain areas, like this one, but all the flat surfaces are gone. That's because we have altered the slope min value as well, slope min soft. If you put that to zero, it should look like you'd expect it. There we go.